here. Um, now, one of the things, this is also going to be a promo for VCT, so it's going to be open to anybody if they want to, to, to view it. Uh, this is the recent setups in um, Bitcoin. I was going for short-term longs from 41K and under, all the way back to 43, 500 and above. And that occurred. And then I started to short it. I had short-term trades, uh, which I took off here, under 24 hours. And then I had a short hedge from 43,800 um, of 20% of my total Bitcoin. And I'm targeting 41K from here. So where do we go from here after all of this hits? Um, now, this is the longer term. Let's go to a bigger picture. Let's also take a look at um, Ethereum. So I'm going to do that real quick as well. And I want you to notice the pattern that I drew here. This is the pattern that we have in here. And let's make that over there. That's the top. And at some point, I'm going to look for this to trade all the way back above to probably around that 3,400 um, from where we are and under that uh, 3,100. So that's what I'm currently looking for us to do. And uh, now one of the things that these patterns are dynamic. They don't have to go to any length, uh, unlike what the books tell you. Uh, they do not conform to anything M's and W's are energy and they reflect something, but they do not say what they're going to do. Uh, they're dynamic and all of the numbers in the marketplace are. And anybody tells you that there's a fixed calculation of what the market's going to do is going to be wrong the majority of the time. And it's probably not uh, a trade, uh, a person that trades for a living. Remember, I've done this for over 30 years. Uh, I'm not going to ever argue with any of these silly people. They put this stuff in books because they want to sell uh, books and make money from selling books. Uh, I actually have to make a living in trading. I don't get the, um, the ability to sell books and I wouldn't want to because uh, my book would basically say there is no derived length, uh, there is no exact uh, Fibonacci number or ratio that this has to hit. Uh, it's energy, that means it's dynamic and it will go to where it wants to go. And that depends on the number of people selling at one time or number of people buying. Now, there are other indicators in the market, mainly in volume, uh, larger support and resistance and, and numbers. But you know, that's something I teach in the room video after video. And you can see it happen live because I do all my trades as they happen, not, you know, um, in the past or some kind of conjecture. That's why if you ever see these guys with the, the margin traders, the reason I don't like them is because I don't think they really make a living from trading. Um, they come up with target one, two, three, and four. They get stopped out and their losses are bigger than their, their profits. And you know, if you ever want to see that Cornix has a, a reporting feature in there and uh, any trade that completes can tell you the overall return or the loss of that trade. But not one of these signal providers out there provides any of those statistics. Um, so why, why is that the case? Uh, they make it, oh, well, you could have done this or you could have done that. No, you have an entry and you have an exit. And that's why one of the things I teach is you observe, plan, and execute. And from there, by understanding how the market dynamics work and being mathematical and logical in your decision-making process, you don't have to worry about being emotional in your trading. Uh, emotions will cloud your judgment and make you make bad trades. So all of that being said, that is my philosophy. And I've done this for over 30 years, well before Bitcoin ever existed. Uh, it is an incredibly great trading um, vehicle and uh, it, it's going to really make um, uh, change the world in a way. Uh, but beyond that, um, it is also an asset. So I trade it, and it is an asset of uh, it is particularly very good for trading, as we can see by the profits. You know, uh, anytime you can make 150% return year over year on your total capital, um, you know. Uh, 100x basically you know, what you would uh, occur is what occurs with that those numbers so 
I don't have to tell you that I've done very well in trading with Bitcoin. Uh, that's just, it is what it is. Um, and I've been with VCT, what, since 2017 is when we first, uh, you know, started talking. And uh, then I became a partner and, and consultant, basically, and working with them. And um, uh, it's been a fun ride. And uh, we got to see all the ups and downs in Bitcoin. And now the market's changed its dynamics this past uh, year, the past several months. And, you know, how many traders can make money in a down market? Most of these signal providers, if you ever noticed, um, which also leads me to believe their marketers only make money when the market's going up. Um, they're silly, and um, uh, I think they only make money from subscriptions. Uh, maybe they're good marketers. What can you say? Uh, but anyway, uh, that is my philosophy in that. And again, Bitcoin, I want you to pay attention to the pattern here. Uh, let me draw it up on this chart. <laughs> I want things to be very clear. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there you go. Now again, we don't know how far down or out, but we have a trading plan in place. And we don't have to know what it's going to do. We just have to trade logically and have a good plan, observe, plan, and execute. And um, there you go. Um, so that's where we are right now. And uh, I've been asked by, about um, our friend ICP, which is a recent trade that we did here. And again, this is a trade that I, I did that was both a long-term trade and a short term. Well, somebody asked me about the short term entry down here if they can trade it again. The trade is over. The entry was down here in the $20 range, 26 uh, all the way up to 28 and the target was 37 and above and we took the exit up there and we did this real time in the room and that trade is over. Now if you want to know about the long term trade, do not ask me about the short term. Uh, now, long term, if we want to hold it, which I believe it will probably go all the way back down to this trend line here, maybe down to the entry point, the 25. Um, and if you remember, I went long and I shorted it up here in the 37 range, and then I exited back at 29. So I captured the profit from up and down on this. Uh, now, longer term, from here, I'd be looking for numbers to go all the way back up to this 87 and above number, making this a great risk reward trade longer term. Uh, that's for months, maybe even a year. Uh, and we'll see what I would believe is another spike above here and maybe even all the way up to 137, all the way up to here. So that's what I would be looking for longer term. It's already broke the trend line, the downtrend here. It consolidated, it built its base in here, and uh, we can meander and maybe drift sideways, but notice the volume increasing here. That's a key, key uh, element to this. So anyway, that's the, the update. And again, if you're new, I'm going to have this as a promo. I've been asked to do this as a promo. So this is what we do on a weekly basis. I give the, uh, the trades and... Um, you know, you can see them real time as they happen and my thoughts. And uh, I, I give real trading education. Uh, again, I don't believe the majority of these signal providers out here um, make money from trading. And, you know, again, if they're using the Cornex bot, just ask for their statistics. Every trade has a result in Cornex. And they can get the numbers of what they made or lost on a trade, period. Period. And if they're not able to give you those results, it's because uh, they're fake, uh, in my opinion. So anyway, that's my last word on that. This is where we are in the marketplace. Um, Bitcoin uh, likely will trade. It's doing a butterfly right now. It has its long-term support. We're back at it right around the 40, the low 41K range. Uh, you can see the, the butterfly here, the 
Let's zoom in. Let's go to a two hour. Now, the charts on trading view are less than perfect, but they do. Okay. Um, so you see where we are here. Um, and again, I would be looking for longs that go all the way back up to 43, um, 500 and above. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. We do not know the right wing that here that we have, um, how far it's going to go yet. But as you can see, we're right on the major support area. And that's why I started going long down here. And uh, you know where my hedges are, my shorts. And so we'll see what happens. And I will update you guys later. Have a great week. And I'll be back when the next trade comes. Alrighty, have a great week.